Hey everyone, John here, and welcome back to the Toy Box. So today for our Pokemon 20th anniversary celebration, we're going to celebrate July with Shaman, the Gratitude Pokemon. And this is probably the smallest Pokemon, well the smallest legendary Pokemon so far in these games. And as always, we have the 20th anniversary plush and figure. So before we get started, let's go ahead and read the Pokedex entries from Diamond and Pearl. For Shaman. It lives in flower patches and avoids detection by curling up to look like a flowering plant. It can dissolve toxins in the air to instantly transform ruined land into a lush field of flowers. The flowers all over its body burst into bloom as if lovingly hugged and senses gratitude. The blooming of Grassadia flowers confers the power of flight upon it. Feelings of gratitude are the message it delivers. So, for Shaman, this is one of the Pokemon that, probably one of the first Pokemon that I remember at least, that can change its forms. It came out during the fourth generation, where we started having Pokemon like uh, Giratina and Rotom changing forms. So, um, Shaman was another one. And uh, the, fi the figure and plush here are depicting the land form. Um, Shaman also has the sky form where it gains the flying type and some flying moves, but you can only get that one during the day. So, right here we have the, the land form. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this plush and figure in detail. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the review. First, let's go ahead and take a look at the 20th anniversary plush. So, this plush, the packaging is very similar to the other, to the other 20th anniversary plushes. Up here in the front we have the, the Pokemon name. Uh, you have to excuse the condition of my packaging. I think uh, it was crushed a little bit when it was being shipped, but, uh, but that's okay. The, the important part for me is the plush. But anyways, the, the front of the package is specifies number 492, Shaman, the land form. So they have the, in the other languages as well. So they do specify which form of Shaman you are getting, which is pretty cool. And we have a picture of a uh, land form Shaman down here. And of course we have the little little window where you can actually feel the plush through here. If we look in the back here, uh, we have the, the Pokemon 20th anniversary message. So you can see, the trainer's journey never ends. Each generation befriends new Pokemon and battles new dangers. Explore the world of Pokemon. And we have the landform and we have another Pokedex entry right here. When the Grassadia flower blooms, Shaman gains the power of flight. Wherever it goes, it clears the air of toxins and brings feelings of gratitude. So this is generally, it's a good break from all those other, from a lot of the Pokemon who pretty much can destroy the world just by, <laughs> just by doing what they do. This Pokemon actually heals it, which is pretty nice. And to me, it's a very good thing. So, there's a picture of Shaman right here. And on the side, over here, we have the, the same messages, just in different languages. So that's, uh, that's it for the packaging. So let's go ahead and start the unboxing. So once again, we have the zipper up top. And we can remove Shaman carefully like this. So if you've seen my other, my other 20th anniversary plush reviews, um, I mentioned that you have some plastic tabs here that you can use to uh, to get rid of to uh, take the plush out of the package um, without really damaging the box. The only thing that's different here is that if you look closely at these tabs, um, they put the thicker side on the outside of the package this time. So it, it's we're not going to really be able to to do it without damaging the package. I'm gonna do it anyway because I wanna show you guys the, the plush. But, and because my, the packaging is already kinda of damaged, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and do it anyways. But um, the tabs to look for, if you're in case um, you wanna do this, there are two in the back right here, you know, Shaman's picture, and there's two tabs on the bottom, one right here near the, the Tomy sign, and one right up here near the copyright sign. So. Those are the four tabs that you want to take out if you want to take out Shaman, take Shaman out of the package. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So just bear with me here. There we go. 
or you just put you just take the the tabs and you put and you punch them back into the into the hole right here oh somebody's home and there we go so now I have shaman out of the package right here so this looks pretty good so if you look so now that we have shaman out of the package let's do a 360 view of the plush let me go and move the camera down here so that we can see shaman a little bit better so right here so if we look at shaman to the front and we can see the details i really like the details that they put into these crushed velvet plushes um they do the eyes and they do the face very well and if you look underneath right here, you can see Shaman's smile. They always make Shaman look really shy, but um, that's kind of how, the way how Shaman is because it'll always try to hide. So it, it's pretty accurate. It's pretty nice. And inside, you can see the the flowers, and then um, flowers on the side, and of course on the top you have layering over here for the layers of the the grass the, that makes them look like a hedgehog. So, I wish that they would have had another another layer down here. That would have been a really nice touch. But this is still a very this is a very nice a very nice plush. And so it looks really cool. And another thing that I like to do with some of these plushes um, that's different with Shaman is that if you remember, Shaman is one of the smallest legendary Pokemon there is. It's only eight inches tall, about as big as a Diglett. So I don't have a ruler with me, but what I like to do is I like to measure and see how close this plush is to the real life, to the real life figure, or just real size, if it were real in real life. But you know what I mean. Pokemon act aren't actually real. Okay. Unless you're playing Pokemon Go. But anyways, so we have one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch. So this plush is about five inches tall. And that is a little more than half the size of an actual shaman. So, it's kind of like we have an actual, we have, it's kind of like we have a really small shaman right here, which is really cool. But anyways, this Pokemon looks really awesome. And now he's looking at you. Well, that's pretty nice. So I love this plush figure, I love the colors. And of course the, uh, the crushed velvet effect kind of makes him a little more shiny. So it kind of gives them a little bit of a glow, which is pretty awesome. But um, if, you want, uh, if you want this figure, I've seen them available in Toys R Us. So go ahead and go on down and get them, or you can get them online. And there it is. This has been the 20th anniversary Shaman Crushed Velvet Plush. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Shaman Landform figure. So this is the limited edition 20th anniversary figure and we have uh, obviously we have Shaman the land form right here and we have an Ultra Ball. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and open up open up the package and get our figure. So it's going to go ahead and get undo the tape up here. So there we go. figure. Alright. They always use a lot of tape here. I usually take off the tape before I open up the figure for you guys, but this time I kind of forgot. So, sorry about that. There we go. So, there. Take it out. So, we have plastic, so what we'll do is take it out like this. Pokemon. And now we have the two figures right here. So to release, let's release the Pokeball first. That one's a little easier. All we have to do, all we have to do is just undo this knot. Or get some scissors. I should have gotten some scissors. Let me see. It isn't too late to get some scissors. 
There we go. We have we have cut we have cut the strings. And the Pokeball is free. Well the Ultra Ball. The Ultra Ball is free. So here's the details for the Ultra Ball. It looks pretty nice. I always like the design for the Ultra Ball. It's pretty cool. And of course it opens, opens and closes. That's where you can keep Shaman. Go ahead and move it. Yeah, I'll keep it down. Right here. There we go. And now we need to open up the shaman part. So remember, we need to we need to be careful. If you look in the back, right here, we have a little tab right. We have a little tab right here where that we need to undo, you know, before we can take shaman out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. So all you do is just take out the tab. Hold on to Shaman right here just to make sure that it doesn't fall out. So that should do right here. And I think that should be it. There should be there's one more tab down here, but pretty much Shaman's already loose, so. And then you just pull your figure out. And here we go. Here is the limited edition um, 20th anniversary 2-inch Shaman figure. So let's go ahead and lower the camera again. And let's go ahead and do a 360 degree view of the figure. So, we have in the front, we have the, the layers up here of, of the grass to make them look like a hedgehog. And I think they, did, they pretty much did the same thing they did with the, uh, with the uh, plush. I, I wish they put in a little bit more layering over here. But this one looks pretty cool. I think I like the layering here. It's a little harder to do on the plush. So that's something you gotta, you gotta think about, but, but I do like the, uh, the grass, the little horns that he would have had as a hedgehog, the spines, I mean. And you have the flowers right here. So these look pretty, really pretty. And then, of course, we have Shaman's expression. And like I said, Shaman always looks really shy. So it'll be very quick to run away. So if he sees you, so he sees, whoop. Oh. Anyways, um, the figure does have like a pearlesque finish, just like all the uh, other, just like all the other 20th anniversary figures. So they're so they're a little, they have a little bit of a shimmer to them, which is which is a really nice touch, especially for the legendary Pokemon. It gives them a little bit more of a legendary feeling. So, um, and I think it goes really well, especially when we're celebrating the 20th anniversary. So there we go. So right here, there it is, the special, the limited edition Shaman uh, figure. And this is for the month of July, and there's the Ultra Ball in the back. So we're going to go ahead and bring it all together. Well, everyone, this has been the unboxing and review for the Pokemon 20th Anniversary plush and figures for Shaman. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to keep an eye on uh, social media and fo uh, follow the Toy Box on social media. Twitter and Instagram links are in the description below. And as always, um, leave your comments in the comments section below. Rate, subscribe, and don't stop playing.